Hi, my name is Tom Ken. I'm the Poet Laureate of Oshkosh. Uh, my role is to spur creativity and uh, foster uh, literacy in Oshkosh. Uh, so if you'd like me to come talk to your club or your organization, um, please go to my website, thomascannonauthor.com, or email me at thomascannon.author at gmail.com. I would love to hear from you. Over the summer, I had a poetry workshop uh, at the Museum the Museum of Writing Instruments in Winnicani. It was a wonderful time with some great people. One of the attendees asked me if growing up on a farm helped me become a poet. A poet. Poet. I had never thought of it, but she painted a pretty convincing case that being out in nature and observing things led to wanting to describe the world. Basically, she told me about how these boys uh, she taught uh, would bring in the cows in the morning for milking, and they would notice how the dew was, dew was still on the grass as they herded that cattle. This reminded me of something called echotherapy. Basically, a word that means being out in nature to take away anxiety and worrying. Uh, so, yes, I think growing up and being in nature did lead to me being a poet. I enjoyed working hard on a hot day. And I had time to think about my life as I spent an entire day on a tractor alone with my thoughts. Seeing a cow give birth moved and amazed me. A perfect day with a gentle breeze just made me happy, but so did walking in frigid temperatures while all around me was white and silence. Nature heals and keeps us balanced. Uh, a small stream, stream is relaxing, we all know that, but the sun through the leaves as you walk through a small woods is a special as well. Just after that workshop, a friend, a childhood friend posted a picture from our rural area, it was a cloud bank over farmland. And what really struck me is how he's no stranger to paved streets and strip malls. Yet he spent a lot of time in open spaces where you can see a lot of sky. He may go a full day and never hit a paved road. I now live in the city. And that picture really brought me back to a different life. Even as a kid, I walked, and I just enjoyed the expanse of the sky. What does that have to do with poetry? Well, one of the things I try to do as a writer is to find new metaphors, more symbolism in things, relate the human condition to modern times or electronics and social media, because I want to find that new metaphor that somebody has never said before. I find it hard. I find it impossible to do that, because there's not beauty. The screen I type on is a finite function. That is not nature. Nature still holds so much mystery and beautiful. All I get from looking at the screen is eye strain, whereas the beauty again calms my soul. That picture again reminded me of living a life, a life of fields and red barns. And you know, rural life isn't more simple than a urban one. It's just simply closer to nature with less un, uh, manufactured things in your life. I think it is happier. And I think, do think it helps you to be a poet. It also helps you to be a happy person, to be out in nature. And poetry is a way to bring that beauty back inside with you. Thank you for spending a few moments with me.